Glycomics is, is the study of carbohydrates. We think of carbohydrates being, of course, important as food sources, uh, but what's less well appreciated is that carbohydrates are components of every cell on the planet. Communication between cells or invasion of cells by viruses and such like is often mediated by sugars. So if we understand sugars, or glycomics, the study of sugars, then we can have better chance of understanding and interfering with these infection processes. Glyconet will bring together a team of internationally leading Canadian glycomic scientists and will allow them to both partner more effectively with industry, but also to compete more effectively on the international stage. Canada has actually a considerable strength in the area of glycomics, ranging from chemists through to microbiologists, biochemists, the whole gamut. But we all tend to work in our individual silos, within our individual labs in our different universities. What Glyconet can do for us is to bring us together and make the whole much greater than the sum of the individual parts. It's an area of very, very fertile scientific uh, opportunity. Um, and uh, we have great researchers in the field. Um, and bringing them together across the entire country with the opportunity to develop new vaccines, new medicines to treat diseases, many diseases of which don't have adequate treatment today, is very exciting. Carbohydrate processing enzymes per se have been really a neglected area of um, investigation for pharma and biotech. And I think there's really a lot of potential there and a lot of excitement and interest in this emerging area. So I think it's great timing and a very exciting initiative. We've managed to take a couple of ideas uh, coming from our understanding of how these enzymes work into what we call the preclinical phase where we're testing in animals and getting data in animals, which we then hope to take on into the clinical phase if they're successful. And so far it's looking good actually. And the two cases we're looking at in particular are influenza and diabetes. I'm particularly excited now because I think there's really a lot of exciting stuff going on scientifically. There have been some real commercial successes over the last five or ten years which, which suggests that uh, we really can take the science we do and actually convert them into something that will benefit society.